Hello everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let us have a look at the journal and see what kinds of things I can do because Convention of Wisdom says we do this right here. See if I can rescue Halston and not get him killed this time. But I may or may not meet, need to be a certain level for that. And um, so we're probably going to do a few side missions before we move along here. All right, so I guess the easiest thing we can do right now is go talk to Arabella's parents. Arabella was the girl that was about to be punished with the snake <clears throat> by Kaga, I think it was. So, yeah, we can start by doing that. It is a new week. It's a new time. A new love. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, as I'm recording this, yesterday we had a uh, tornado watch in our area, which is very rare. But, of course, no tornado occurred. I say, I say of course, none occurred, but we did have one a couple years ago. And one not that long before that. So, it's starting to become a more common occurrence, which is very unsettling. I'm not a fan of tornadoes. I'm not a fan of the thought of them, of looking at them. <laughs> Except in pictures. In pictures, I think they look cool. But, uh... Yeah, not my favorite thing in the whole world. I should just murder all of you right now and stop this ritual. Excuse me, dickheads. Coming through. Is that them? You... Oh yeah. Me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I hear you. You know, as a rogue. I should probably say, I saved your daughter, got anything more than a thanks for me. <laughs> like, always looking for a payment, but... Oh, and I should be doing different things, too. Like I said, I was going to. I'm going to go with this, though. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Chimera's Locket. It's my job too. Grants it's where the ability to cast dancing lights, huh? Cool. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. Mole? You said Mole? I know who fucking Mole is. This is Mattis. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. <laughs> nice sleight of hand. Hammers flourish, right? Uh, I never learned names or anything. Just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Vanish the ring with a reverse hammers flourish. Oh, well, this should be easy. Take the higher roll. Boom, 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 and boom. Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. We're going to go with heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? This is quite a scam you're running. You can drop the act. I, uh, don't know what you mean. Hmm. <clears throat> There's two different scams there. 
Tinker's Trash Scam and War Widow Scam. I'm going to go with the top one. Come on, this is a Tinker Trash Scam. A clumsy one. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a Tinker's Trash? It's when a scammer offers the target a magic object. Uh-huh. Then rings the game to gain the target's trust and sell and sell them trash. Huh. Interesting. And I promise this isn't a Tinker's Trash Scam. So what kind of con is it? Look, I swear to you, these rings are the real deal. I promise I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? Uh, sure, let's I trade. Knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Well, I failed the perception check there, so. What have I got? 102 gold. You don't have a whole lot here other than die, a supply pack, thieves' tools, some food. What's up with these rings? Yeah, ring of being really invisible. Ring of infinite wishes. Ring of resistance to ants. Notice if these were real magic rings, everything would be here. Let me show you. Hold on. I gotta find something that's magic. Give me one second. Oh, the gloves. Here we go. Yeah, it says what it does right underneath it, so. The game is giving away that these are fake rings, so that's okay. Um, Jeez, I don't even have enough to buy a supply pack right now. I am going to buy these thieves tools. And that is pretty much it. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Whoa, what are you doing? Huh? Hmm. Well now, someone starting young. Who taught you that? One of the big kids. How... How did you catch me? <laughs> how else you're clumsy a dead man could have caught you? <laughs> I should probably say that. I'm also a rogue, so you were just unlucky this time, but you've got talent, I can tell. Wow, thank you. I guess I'll try harder not to get caught next time. Bye. That was really cute. Um, I don't remember that happening in my initial playthrough. I do not remember that happening at all. Who are you? I don't know. Alright, so we talked to Arabelle's parents. What else can I do? Um, guide them out of the grove. Mysterious wound. Oh, excuse me. There may not be anything to do other than try and find Halson. Let me look at the map. Oh, save the refugees. I guess we'll go talk to Zevlor. See if I can convince him to leave. I don't think I've... <clears throat> the only thing I've done in this game is convince the refugees to leave. I'm sure there's a way that you can basically fight for the grove and kill all the druids, but... I don't know. I just don't know. Hi, Zevlor. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Indeed it is. Hmm... Can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Then why don't you get rid of her? 
a low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that, but they've already let you pass once. Hmm. Gotta understand that I'm a rogue, and I'm also, I guess, a tiefling, so there's kind of a kinship here. And the druids are kind of dicks, let's be honest. So my initial playthrough, I just talked Zevlor into getting the tieflings together and leaving. So in this one, maybe I'll try and assassinate Kaga. To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Well, I can kill Kaga and or defeat the goblins, so... Those are my two options. I could possibly do both. I would like to deal with the goblins anyway. We do have another thing over here. We could hunt down Karlak. We love Karlak around these parts. Oh, we got a lady sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Do I dare try and figure out why? Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. I mean, I understand. Uh, sounds like you've crossed paths with Aridin before. Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our heights the first time. Without Halsin, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. Hmm. So perhaps finding Halsin and saving him is the key. And I would not know this because I got Halsin killed <laughs> in my initial playthrough. So, oh, I just realized I'm not even out of the fucking grove yet. Do you think your kin search for you, Blazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. I love those little interactions. Just random interactions between party members. It's a lot like Dragon Age 2. This game is a lot like Dragon Age 2. And 1. Sorry. Just Dragon Age. A lot like Dragon Age. How oh, Jesus. Someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully. A thousand times over. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Shadowheart is clearly not fond of Lazelle and is looking for any excuse to try and get rid of her. But, oh, something's going on at this cave up here. We're gonna save the fuck out of this. An owl bear, huh? Oh my god, do I dare go in this cave mouth? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. We're going in. I just saved it so I can go back if I want to. Oh, I see a treasure chest down there. There he is. Oh boy, this is not going to end well. Let's go for it. Let's do it. I'm excited. You feel the quake uh -oh. its heavy footsteps before you see it. Um, no, I saw it first. It's beaked face looming out of the darkness. Hmm. I don't know if I'm proficient in animal handling. <laughs> Puff out your chest and roar. Yeah, try that. See what happens. Oh, we're going to go with animal handling. We're going to study the owlbear's behavior. Yep, I failed. Cool. We're all gonna die. You can only surmise the obvious. 
The owlbear is out for blood. Hmm. I mean, at this point, how do I not do this? <laughs> Pop out your chest and roar. Oh, God. Oh, I do have a performance proficiency. Oh, my God. Critical success. Critical success. The beast shrinks back. Feathers quivering. <laughs> oh, my God. That fucking worked. You out of your mind? Can I just go wherever I want now? Oh, now we're fighting. The Oak Father's Embrace. What is this? Uncommon medium armor, order of nature. Undead creatures that hit the wearer receive a one to six radiant receive one to six radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer deal an additional one to six radiant. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. Thank you very much. Apparently, yeah, we're fighting now. Apparently, we were good until I touched something. So, uh, all right, let's zoom back a little bit. What is this? The cub? Yeah. Uh, all right, fine. How's this? Eyes? This health's not that bad. Get him, Shadowheart. Nice. In you go, Lazel. Boom! Uh oh. Oh. Plays out with an opportunity attack. Uh oh. Cutscene. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, just about murdered fucking Shadowheart. Get him, Gale. What do we got here? Mage hand. Da -da 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 -da. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna thunder wave him. Here we go. Boom! No, only took three health. That shriek that the owl, owl bear uh, did. Uh, at least, oh no, I think it's just in rage. I think it was trying to summon more owl bears, but uh, it was making me uncomfortable. That's for sure. Um, do 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 do. I'm gonna have Shadow Heart heal herself. I'm gonna have Toast Butter shoot him in the ass. Ooh. Only eight left. Gary Lazel, take the attack of opportunity. See, every time you try to run away from someone right in front of you, they automatically get a, an attack on you. Unless you disengage from them, but that takes an action. So, if you do that, you won't be able to attack. Two left. Oh, oh! Oh, Gale's down. God damn it. Get him up, Toast Butter. Um, do, 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 do. I can't really do anything. So, we'll just have to get the Shadow Heart. Get him. Get him! Dead. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, no. End his suffering. Oh, God. I can't kill the fucking thing. Oh, man. I feel awful. <laughs> I feel completely awful. But if it had just left me alone, I wouldn't have had to kill it. Let the creature live. It hurts. Apparently Shadowheart's wound didn't like that. <sighs> you watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess so. We've just prolonged its misery. Head of a broken spear. Oh, isn't that what staying alive is? Prolonging misery. 
I mean, kind of, sometimes. That's how you look at it. I don't know. Oh, I feel awful. Even though now he's eating his mother. Maybe he was just hungry. Yeah, I bet it would. Now, Shadowheart, that wasn't nice. Sealed by magic. There's no smashing this open. Uh. Ow. That's why it was glowing, huh? What is this? Scroll to tech thoughts. I'll take that. Potion of healing. I will take that. War between saloon and Shar. Really? That's all it is? Alright, I'm taking it. <laughs> What is this, uh... Oh, hold on one. Why am I being dumb about this? I can just use the arrows. Potion of animal speaking. Hmm. Oh, can I jump over there? Jump! I want to see if this stuff is collectible. What's that? Apparently not, but we found something on the ground. A prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share her bounty. Okay. You know what? I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, but... That chest that's sealed by magic. I do have Gale with me. I don't know if Gale can do anything about it, but... Hold on. Hmm. I probably need some prayer or some shit. I don't know. Actually, there is... Hold on. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I have that prayer. Let's see. Hold on. Get out of the way, Lazel. Alright. Nope. Wrong button. I always do that. Always the wrong button. Um. So, prayer sheet... Oh, wait, it was this, right? Read it. Oh, I think it worked. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. Shadowheart, that's not nice of you. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. There could be something useful here. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Shadow Art is a follower of Shar, and Shar and Saloon, the gods, are at odds, so. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with intimidation. Let's see if we can uh, uh, stir the pot a little bit here. I'll do as I please. If you want to try stopping me, be my guest. Got to pass an intimidation check. And I did not. <laughs> well, this ought to be amusing. Take them if you must. But I'll remember you didn't listen to sense. I bet you will. All right, saloon right. Whatever, I'll take it. What the fuck is going on here? I have no idea. But I'm going to win this one, so. I can do anything sleight of hand apparently. Silver necklace, bloodstone. Idol Saloon. <laughs> Moon Drop Pendant. Oh, that's interesting. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. So that means if I have less than half my health, if I try to run away from somebody, they can't just attack me. Like with an opportunity attack, of course. Alright, we're leaving. We're getting the hell out of here. So 
I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Wow, um, you know what, we should probably take a short, oh, wow, I only have one short rest left. Okay, we're doing it. Welcome, rest. Um, Shadowheart must have been very comfortable in my playthrough, because I didn't have Lazel with me, so. She didn't have to worry about all that. <clears throat> wow, I just leveled up out of nowhere. Okay, that was really strange. But we're definitely going to do that real quick. <laughs> so, like I said, it's a new week. There's been a lot going on. What is this? Ooh, an additional bonus action? That's good shit. You master the art of falling and gain resistance to falling damage. Cool. I get a special speci <laughs> specialization. Easy for me to say. Uh, thief, arcane trickster, and assassin. Ooh. I'm tempted to go with assassin. You prefer to deal sublime punishment to a single foe for at a time. Not in a duel, mind, because a duel implies chivalry, but and you're too busy getting the job done for honor. We're gonna go with assassin. Fuck it. Fuck it. Legacy of Avernus, Searing Smite, deal an extra 2 to 12 fire damage and set your target on fire. It takes 1 to 6 fire damage every turn. Nice. Cool, sounds good. Um, a lot's been going on. I'm not going to go into too much detail, although I did try to quit my job last week. Long story short, I don't tolerate being disrespected. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't have to do this. I can turn around and go to fuck home. If you don't want to do your job and stay home. That's all I got to say. I did work at a different store on Wednesday. Uh, the manager there, her name is Nicolette. Uh, let me pay attention to this for a second. So, Nicolette used to manage my store and she used to have a bit of a reputation. Um, the reputation is that she's blunt. That's what I surmise out of it. And people don't like when someone is blunt. And Nicolette does, just does not give a shit about anything. And I love that about her. I had no problem working with her at all. Um, she was super nice to me. Rachel was there too. Rachel's like, I guess I wasn't there for this. Rachel goes, well, you really put on the nice gloves for Bobby. I didn't get the nice gloves. And Nicolette's like, maybe I like him better. <laughs> That's Nicolette in a nutshell for you. I'm going to take this. Because when I did this before... I did not take enough spells that would work in the outside world that would help a great deal with a lot of shit. So, <laughs> I'm trying to do that too. But yeah, our store doesn't have hot food, and the store I worked at did, so I got to work that for the first time. And I enjoyed that. That was fun. Rachel was showing me how to do it. It's really easy and pretty fun. And I got to meet a lot of cool people. And, uh,. For those that don't remember, this is the second time I've worked at a different store. And both times, the phrase has been used, can I keep you? <laughs> so I need a running tally of that every time I work at a different store. Oh, wow. She can triple a creature's jumping distance. That's pretty cool. Oh, found a rock. Oh, I bet you I can't use that. I need Scratch in order to get in there. Oh, there's Scratch right now. Hi, Scratch. Come here. Oh, Gomwick's dead. Whoever that is. Hmm. Hmm, we're gonna go with animal handling. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Yes! Easy pass. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Um, shake your head. The man is gone. 
With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. Motion him to follow. We'll take the Scratch with us. Looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. Oh, you want me to rob him too? All right, I can do that. <clears throat> um, pet him. Hold out your hand so he can follow your scent to camp. We'll do that. The dog sniffs your hand. His tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. There we go. We got Scratch. Now I'm going to rob your master. Apple. Tough letter, soft letter, personal note, gold, and leather boots. All right, tough letter. Nine fingers. Oh, it's nine fingers. Huh? That, that's not nine fingers. He's talking to nine fingers. I won't come back to the city not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find a valuable set of matters between both of us. That's a that's a uh, indication to me to try and seek that out. Soft letter. David, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora and Devin Jr. Personal note. Gomwick, be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I received more reports of attack, attacks on travelers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself better late than never. So, um, he's not face down, but uh, he's definitely looking up at the sky. And he is dead. <laughs> so it's nice that you had that sentiment, but uh, it didn't work out well for him in the end. Alright, we're starting to get low on time, so let me see if I can scratch out... <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, scratch out one more thing in this episode. See if I can get something accomplished. Oh, we got something going on down here. No, Please. We just want Marina back. Oh, fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Yes, you will, because you're not going to do anything about it. Because you're terrified. Um, how about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Hmm. I'm just not getting involved. Bollocks. We're supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Who said I was supposed to do that? Oh, yeah, see? You definitely did something to their sister. Jackass. Did you kill them? Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. No, I'm gonna have... I'm going to have an arrow ready to put between your eyes. That's what I'm going to do. Joel, tattered letter. Dear Joel and Demmer, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to mom, all right? She has enough on her plate, Marina. I don't want the fucking pitchfork. And that's a cleaver, and I don't need it. All right. Yeah, her Auntie Ethel's place is definitely down that way. There we go. There's a good shot of the crew right there. You like that? There you go. <laughs> On that note, we are going to end this episode here. Uh, I think next episode... Shit, I don't even know if I'm ready for Auntie Ethel. What do we got going on in the journal here? Obviously save the refugees. You might try to murder Kaga. 
see how well that goes. I mean, that's pretty much it. Where is the... The thing for Halston has fucking disappeared. So I don't know if I can go save him or not. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But, I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out, so. We did some stuff this episode. We got Scratch. We got Scratch. That's what we did this episode. <laughs> Actually, we did a little more than that, but, uh, yeah. I enjoyed this game. It's, uh, definitely quite a few things happening that didn't happen in my last playthrough, and I find that kind of interesting. So, at least I can experience some fresh things with you that I didn't see last time. Leave a like, subscribe, notifications, all that jazz. You can go to robertblanchettbooks.com and check out my books. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. If you'd like to hear more about them, you can listen to the Rise of Dragons podcast wherever you find your favorite podcasts. You can go to my link tree at Bobby's World 2110. There are links to everything that is Bobby. Uh, the author page, the page for my podcast. My mind is going blank here. Uh, the Facebook page is for all of the books. Uh, and the Facebook page of this YouTube channel, which is generally where I post new things. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bobby's World 2110. And that is going to do it. So until then, be well, stay safe. And as always, it's Bobby's World. And you're all just living in it. See y'all. See you for live, y'all. Bye. What's going on, guys? Thank you for checking out the video today. But I got a question for you. Did you know I wrote a book? Did you know I wrote three books? Did you know that they're all part of the same series? The Roar of a Dragon, The Treachery of a Weasel, and The Cry of a Raven. Readersfavorite.com says that its intensity rivals that of the Game of Thrones series. Now, I personally think that's crazy, but it's not for me to judge. It's for you to judge. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com and you can check out the books right now. But wait, that's not all. All three books got five-star reviews at Readersfavorite.com. These books won the Silver Medal and the Literary Titan Awards. The Cry of a Raven won Silver at the Global Ebook Awards. So what are you waiting for? Read about Aiden's dream to become a Knight of Delmar. Read about his death and resurrection. Oops, I gave that away, didn't I? And read about his journey back home from 3,000 years in the future to stop the evil that started in Delmar. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. And then, if you're interested, you can buy the books there as well. And if you've already read the books or you just want to hear more about them, you can check out the Rise of Dragons podcast. You can listen to it wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And in every episode, I cover a character from the book, an event from the book, my journey into writing, and everything in between. Ripley, what do you got to say about all this? Give me a treat or I will end you. You know she's telling you to check out the books. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com to check out the books or listen to the Rise of Dragons podcast if you want to hear about them. That's all I got to say, and thank you for watching this video.